before we pray, let me tell you this. I, I, one time I told people, I said, if God can open your eyes just for one minute, not even 10 hours, just one minute, you'll pray nonstop. Because you'll be able to know what is right and what is wrong. And on the other side, you will know who's standing with God and who's not standing with God. In fact, that small time can make you to pray the whole night. If God just decides now, say, if God decides now and say, let me open the eyes of this man, just for one minute, not, not a lot of hours, just one minute. And in that one minute, God will show you a lot of things. He will show you that there's something like this, there's something like this, there's something like this. And all those things will make you to pray too much. One of the reasons why, you know, we'll have people that are calling themselves with bigger titles and all those things is because they haven't found revelation about themselves. If you find a revelation about your life, you will sit down nicely and become a prayerful person. Are you hearing me? Tell someone who's standing very close to say, neighbor. Say neighbor. Today, you must find a revelation about your life. Tell your neighbor again. You know what makes you to cry and say, why me in all these problems? Can I tell you? Can I tell you? Can I tell you? It's because you don't have revelation about your life. Those that are always saying, why me? Why me? Why me? You don't have a revelation about your life. If God can show you where you are going, Will you complain about the present? No. Huh? No. Huh? No. So why are you complaining? Let me tell you why you're complaining before we pray just one minute and I'll be coming to you. You complain because you always use your eyes. In any situation, you use your eyes. When you get into problems, already according to you, your life is finished. You are failing to see I hate. One time Jesus Christ he said, you people, when you see clouds gathering, you say rain is coming. But you are failing to see what will happen in your future. When problems are coming, when you are sick, the only thing that you do is to complain and say, but why me? From today, when you see problems, can you go and kneel down before God and say, thank you, Jesus, for this problem? Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. When you face what? A problem. Go and kneel down before God and say, God, thank you for this problem I'm facing. You are very much faithful. Thank you so much. Amen. And let's see if God won't hear you. Are you hearing me? Amen. What I'm trying to say is, because if the word of God says, worry will never even end a single day of your life. Meaning when you worry before God, you're wasting your time, my sister. Huh? When you worry, tell your neighbor, say, stop worry. Stop worry. Because, you're because you're wasting your time. That worry won't even end a single day of your life. One day. So stop wasting your time. I pray today that you must find the purpose of your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Don't worry, I'm not going to take time. I pray that you must find the purpose of your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. I can't hear you. Amen. Amen. Let me ask you, before we pray, do you know the purpose of your life? Say no. No. Do you know the purpose of your life? No. Let me 
Ja som asistá. No. You know why? You know why you don't have revelations about your life? And I told people last time, I said, who told our people that God wants to speak with prophets only? Huh? A mere faithful Christian, if Holy Spirit is your friend, you know, he's bound to tell you things that are coming. I'm telling you. Hmm? If you become a prayerful person, automatically the Holy Spirit will stand here with you. Look what happened when God was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. He said, I won't do this. I have to tell Abraham first. Are you hearing that? He said what? I won't do this. I have to tell Abraham first. So now, even you, before God do something, huh? before God, remember everything that God does, automatically the angels will be knowing, Jesus Christ will be knowing. Are you hearing me? So now, before God do something, he must sit down and say, I won't do this thing until I tell Jacob first. Huh? I can't hear you. Amen. Amen. From today, I pray that whatever that God wants to do in your family, in your job, in your business, all those things that are meant to be a surprise to other people, to you, they must be known before time. Amen. Are you hearing me? I'm saying to you, they must be known before time. Amen. How many of you believe that? You must know that next year, by the 27th of April, I'll be driving Mercedes Benz. Amen. Huh? Amen. In that way, you will learn not to complain before God. I'm telling you. I was with my brothers the other time. I said, No, I never complain. It does not matter the problem. I know where I'm going. Are oh, you hearing me? Amen. Huh? Amen. You know, let me tell you this. There was a time when I was with Daddy. We were going to U uh, US. The flight from nowhere. Good, 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 good. And when it was doing like that, I was praying. And when it was busy doing whatever it was doing, in my spirit I had stopped praying. Because the people that are sitting here, they will think you're afraid. I stopped. Now I could see some people were not comfortable. When other people are starting to be not comfortable, you become comfortable. You know why? Eh? It's because you can hear from God and you know where you're going. Amen. Huh? From today, I pray that whatever that God wants to do in your life, it must be known before time. Yeah. You must know it before it happens. Yeah. It must never come as a surprise in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I'm saying it must not come as a surprise in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I'm praying that today, anything that God wants to do, Anything that God wants to do, lift up your hands. <sighs> I'm praying that, can I get a small volume? I'm praying that anything that God wants to do, anything that God wants to do, oh my God. I pray today that anything that God wants to do, He must pass through you first. Amen. It must be known to you first. Amen. I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. I'm saying it must be known to you first. 
Before other people will know it, you, as a child of God, you must know it.